Hello, you're watching Armando Hasudungan Biology and Medicine videos. Please make sure to subscribe, join the forum and group. For the latest videos, visit Facebook Armando Hasudungan, like, um, ask questions, answer questions, and post interesting things. Now, today's topic is on Parkinson's disease. And uh, when you think Parkinson's, you should think low dopamine because they are related. Now, Parkinson's is a chronic progressive neurodegenerative disorder affecting more than 6.3 million people worldwide. It is sometimes referred to as shaky palsy because of the symptoms associated with it. Now, the main symptoms of Parkinson's are bradykinesia, tremors, rigidity, postural instability, and the non-motor symptoms include fatigue and memory loss. To understand the pathophysiology of Parkinson's, we must look inside the brain. Now, the brain looks something like this in this angle. Uh, we will leave the middle blank to visually see the inner part of the brain. Now, the midbrain, also known as the mesencephalon, is associated with many functions such as vision, hearing, sleeping, and being awake. So here, is, around this area, is the midbrain. Now, so midbrain. Then you have uh, the stratium, which is part of the basal ganglia the basal nuclei within the midbrain. It is involved in initiating voluntary motor movements, learning, and behavior. Now, if we take a close look at a Parkinson's disease patient's stratium, we see a degeneration of neurons in the region of the brain that controls movements. Now, it is important to understand the physical mechanisms behind human movement before attempting to understand the cause of this disorder. When an individual initiates a movement, all planning and senses necessary to begin travels to the area region of the brain called the stratium. Then the stratium interacts with other parts of the brain such as the substantia nigra and thalamus which will then send signal precise and balanced signals. Now these signals then will travel to the cerebellum which enables a coordinated balanced movement to be signaled further onto the peripheral nervous system and to specific muscles. I hope that made sense. Now, in the early 1960s, scientists identified the primary problem underlying Parkinson's disease, and it's the loss of brain cells that produce a neurotransmitter called dopamine. Now, dopamine helps to coordinate and control muscle activity. So, loss of, new, no, loss of these neurons producing dopamine are actually primarily in the substantia nigra. Uh, today, today, we know that these dopamine-producing neurons are located primarily in the pars compacta within the substantia nigra in the midbrain. So as you can see by a normal neuron here up the top, there is good level of dopamine that helps with controlled movements. However, in a Parkinson's disease neuron, the substantia nigra degenerates, causing a loss of dopamine, which causes a stratium to fire out excessive unwanted signals, unbalanced. And these unwanted signals are the primary symptom of PD, tremors. Now, the cause of Parkinson's disease, PD, is still unknown. The most common explored are environmental toxins, such as exposure to metals or chemicals. There's also oxidative stress, which is nat natural aging, for example. And there is uh, genetic factors associated with PD. So that's all for Parkinson's. Next, we'll talk about Huntington's, lastly. And Huntington's is also known, Huntington's disease is also known as chorea, Greek for dancing, because of the associated symptoms. Huntington's disease affects about 6 to 7 people in every 100,000. It has a gradual onset from 30 to 50 years of age, with an average course of the disease about 15 years. So it's a terrible, terrible disease. Symptoms of HD, Huntington's disease, are include uncontrolled movements, irritability, difficulty in decision making, and these are only some. Again, let's look at the changes in the brain activity to understand the basic pathology. Essentially, there is a place in the midbrain called the basal nuclei or basal ganglia, which as I have mentioned is important in initiating voluntary movements, in learning and behavior. In Huntington's disease, there is severe degeneration of cells in this area, the basal nuclei. The main change that occurs is a loss of special inhibitory neurotransmitters called GABA. Now, in a normal brain, GABA is secreted, which will basically prevent a movement. So, for example, if you want to stop your arm, your cells secrete GABA. GABA stands for gamma aminobutyric acid. 
Now, in a Huntington's disease affected neuron, there is degeneration of neurons which secrete GABA, which causes uncontrolled movements because there's no GABA to stop movements. Now, unlike Parkinson's, Huntington's disease has normal dopamine levels because it can still initiate precise movements. But once you want to stop a movement or change direction of a movement, such as stretching or swinging your arm, there is no GABA to stop the movement. And so you basically keep moving, like dancing, chorea. And that is a symptom associated with Huntington's. I hope you understood that. I hope that made sense to you. Sorry if I talked a bit quicker that last bit. Uh, please like, make sure to comment, and yeah, provide feedback, I guess. Um, thank you.